Hello and welcome, Sean here at Mahalo.com and in today's lesson I'm going to introduce you to Windows Media Center and why you should use it. To access Windows Media Center, simply click on your start menu, then click all programs, then click on Windows Media Center, or you can just type that into the search field in the start menu. Windows Media Center is the first step in converting your PC into an entertainment platform. Windows Media Center is a self-contained program that enables you to navigate all of your media with just your keyboard, just your mouse, or even just a remote. This creates a great platform to share media on. You can also extend Windows Media Center to other devices as well, like an Xbox for example. It also gives you the ability to record television on your PC. The only requirement is that you have to have a TV tuner card in your PC. The TV tuner card enables you to watch regular programming and Windows Media Center will be able to act as a DVR and record that content. As far as navigating Windows Media Center, I just use the keyboard and use the arrows to move up and down, enter to select, and then just press backspace to go back. The difference between Windows Media Player and Windows Media Center is Windows Media Player is great for an individual to view all types of media on their computer, whereas Windows Media Center is a great platform to share content on your computer. What Media Center does is it presents your media in more of an entertainment center style. With Windows Media Center, we can do things like view our pictures, videos, and music, as well as watch Netflix movies, view internet TV, as well as that, record live TV. And we can do all of this with just the keyboard, or just the mouse, or we can do all of this with a Windows Media Center remote. So stay tuned as I show you all the functions of Windows Media Center. If you'd like to stay connected to this learning course, make sure to subscribe, and feel free to rate and comment below, and thanks for watching.